you've always wanted to start watching anime, but you've never known where to begin. This is the video for you. By now, if you've watched the other videos in this series, you already know which platforms you have to do in order to start watching anime, the best entry into anime, which is Avatar The Last Airbender, and you already have some experience with one of the hottest animes of the moment, Spy Family. But now, homie, you are going to get your introduction into the shonen genre, which is where your anime journey is about to get saucy. After you finish Spy Family, the next step in your journey is to start watching Demon Slayer. And I'm going to give you four main reasons why by the end of this video. Before we begin, make sure to drop a like on the video, it really helps, and subscribe with the noti bell if you're new. But now, it's time to answer some of your questions. First of all, what the hell is Demon Slayer? Simple premise, without any spoilers, it follows the story of a kid called Tanjiro Kamado during the Taisho period in Japan, roughly around the early 1900s. He ends up becoming a demon hunter after his entire family is killed by these horrendous creatures, and his sister Nezuko is turned into one of those demons. What did he say? If you love samurai, fantasy, or action movies, homie, this is the one for you. It's an action-packed story about a brother trying to save his sister by whatever means necessary, with an amazing supporting cast to help his journey along the way. Now that you know what Demon Slayer is, how exactly do you watch the show? It's already available on multiple platforms like Netflix, Hulu, and Crunchyroll, but you have to pay attention. It's simple to watch, but every season is segmented with different names. Let me explain. You're going to watch season one like it's any other regular show. Then we have the Mugen Train arc. It is a small side story within the world that transitions the show between seasons one and two. Do you really have to watch it though? Absolutely. Not only is the self-contained story worth watching by itself, when it came out around October of 2020, it became the highest grossing film in Japanese box office history. Trust me, watch the movie. After that though, you are going to start what is known as the Entertainment District arc, which equates to season two of the show. Got it? Good. Now you know the structure, so where exactly do you watch it? Netflix only has season one and the Mugen Train arc as an episodic anime. They basically decided to break down the Mugen Train movie into episodes. Was it a good decision? I don't know. To me, no, because the movie is amazing by itself, but you can watch it as an episodic anime if you prefer. Hulu has seasons one and two in both sub and dub. But again, the Mugen Train movie is only available in an episodic format. Thankfully for you, Crunchyroll has all of it. Season 1, the Mugen Train movie, and Season 2 right there. Best of all, if you decide to watch Mugen Train in movie format, which I highly recommend, all you have to do is watch 37 episodes between Seasons 1 and 2 to be caught up with the rest of the community. By now, you could be asking yourself, why would I pick Demon Slayer over Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, or any other of the iconic animes I've heard my friends talk about before. Number one, the story is simple, but it's deep and emotional. The series tackles some serious subject matter that anybody could relate to at a visceral level through a well-paced, action-packed adventure focused around family, friendship, and perseverance. Simply put, it's captivating, and it's gonna tear at your heartstrings in every single episode. Number two, it's well-developed characters. The characters in Demon Slayer are well-written and complex, not only the main protagonists, but also the supporting cast, and most importantly, the enemies. Once you meet the Hashiras and the first couple of major villains along the way, you will instantly understand the giant scope of this universe with intricacies that connect the demon slayers and their prey. Bottom line, this makes it easier to get invested in the characters' journeys and their personalities. Number three, the animation. For some people, this is what makes the show so unique and popular. It features intense and action-packed fight scene set pieces between the demon slayers and the demons. With groundbreaking animation that shocked the entire industry when the anime first aired around 2019. This is what makes the show so exciting and thrilling to watch. The story is solid and the animation is elite. Don't get me wrong, it's not that older animes lack this detail in animation, but if you're new to the space, some of the early 2000s and even older styles of animation might look a little bit dated or wonky. Trust me, familia, you will not have to worry about that with Demon Slayer. Finally, number four, but perhaps more important, it's the growing expansion of the franchise. Let's not sugarcoat it, Demon Slayer 
has now become a global worldwide phenomenon, with a spin-off manga, light novels, video games, a highly successful movie, and even a damn theme park, which makes it a must watch for any fan of the franchise of any age group. If you start watching it, you are not gonna regret it. There you go, you are ready to start watching Demon Slayer. If you've read the manga or seen the show before, leave some tips for the newcomers in the comments down below, and feel free to let me know which anime should I cover next.